New York Rangers hockey is brought to you in part by Continental Airlines, official airline of the New York Rangers. Work hard, fly right, and by Panasonic. It's time to bring back family time. Panasonic, ideas for life. Our Hockey Night Live Mercedes intermission report continues now. John Gino with some time with the captain. All right, Bob, thanks very much. Yeah, Mark Messier will take the ice, uh, lace up the skates tomorrow afternoon right here at the Air Canada Centre, participate in hockey's version of an old-timers game, and then on Monday night, Mark Messier will take his place in NHL history, a very deserved member of the Hockey Hall of Fame, class of 2007, alongside Scott Stevens, Al McInnes, and Ron Francis. A short time ago, I spoke with the captain about the art of speech writing and also savoring the moments. I would imagine this is a little bit like planning for a wedding. Uh, have you in, been able to enjoy the festivities as you get closer with all the things that you have to worry about? One thing I've learned through my career is enjoy the moment and not get uh, too wrapped up in the final uh, uh, process. Uh, for me, it, uh, the whole weekend has been or is going to be an amazing event for myself and my family. And um, it's, you know, Toronto is such an amazing hockey hotbed that uh, when you, as soon as you fly in here, you feel the energy of the town and the hockey. and uh, we're really looking forward to it. Certainly they poured out their love for you in the pregame introductions. How are you ever going to be able to thank a country and a hockey community that has that much adoration for you? Well, I think uh, hopefully I did it through my play. I guess that would be the only way you could really say all the things that you'd like to or in a way repay uh, the uh, those kinds of feelings. Uh, you know, I had a chance to play for Canada and a few Canada Cups and play for my country, and that was a great experience as well. But. Uh, um, I think the the fans here uh, acknowledged uh, what we were able to do in, in Edmonton for those years there and, and of course uh, also in New York in 94. Speeches for an inductee are always a big thing. How much have you worked on yours and what's the message that you really most want to send? Well, I said I'm not really working on it too hard because I'll get up there and cry for four minutes and, uh, and say thank you and walk off. Uh, um, but, you know, I, I guess it's, it's about the game, it's about the history and the tradition. And uh, there's no better uh, evidence of that than this weekend here, of, because without that, uh, it's just another entity without any kind of soul or any kind of backbone. And for us uh, now, uh, we're part of uh, keeping that history and tradition alive. The seeds of a Hall of Fame career are planted long before this moment, and obviously the parents are always heavily involved. How much credit do you give your parents for where you are now? Well, not only for my career, but also leading up to my career and giving me the opportunity to get to this level. Uh, you know, everybody that's uh, played professional sports or gotten to the top of their field will tell you their parents. Uh, there was a whole lot of work being done uh, and a lot of early mornings uh, and the opportunity. And my parents were no different. Uh, they were there uh, from the time I can remember uh, giving me the opportunity to play hockey. And, of course, my father was a hockey player, so the knowledge that I gained from him at a y young age and uh, and here we are, you know, it's almost 30 years uh, after I started professional uh, and we're still doing the same thing as when we first did my first year and all supporting, uh, so it's just amazing. First time you ever went to the Hall of Fame, early Edmonton career, I know you were with Wayne when you went there. What lasting impression did you leave with? Well, I was like many kids that, uh, you know, I, I played street hockey, I, I dreamt of winning the Stanley Cup, playing in the NHL, and many TV dinners on Saturday night watching, you know, Toronto Maple Leafs and Montreal Canadiens. Uh, so I had a deep sense of the history and tradition of the game like we talked about earlier. And so when we got here uh, and we're playing a game here and we got to see the, the Hall of Fame of all the players that we had watched for all those years growing up, uh, it was a powerful experience and a real reminder that uh, there's a lot that goes into this game and uh, we better be ready to, uh, to do our part if we want to share in it. And now beginning Monday, generations of youngsters will get that powerful experience and draw inspiration from that man, Mark Messier. 2-2, end of two, Alan Stan with our Mercedes Hockey Night Live intermission report next.